Hello guys, welcome to EduTap, myself Ritika and today I am here with a video on the beginner strategy for NABARD grade A examination. Now what is this beginner strategy? See, if you are a person who has just started the preparation, then this video is for you. If you are a person who feels that this is the first time I am giving this examination, I am not sure what others know, those who have given this examination earlier, or what is the right strategy that I I should follow then this video is for you okay so I'm gonna tell you I promise you that after this video you will not remain a beginner you will know everything that is required for this clearing of NABAD examination now before we move on I would request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel do join our telegram channel also you will find a lot of updates a lot of content that is available free of cost on a daily basis so guys when we are talking about the preparation planning preparation strategy the very first thing that you have to keep in mind for any of these things is the pattern of the examination, right? So just, I am sure you all know this. So the pattern is that in phase one, there are eight subjects, right? And in phase two, there are two papers. Now out of the eight subjects in phase one, there are three subjects which are actually merit based subjects, which means that final cutoff will be counted out of these three subjects, that is 100 marks. And rest are just qualifying, but this means that you do have to clear a sectional cutoff one section per cutoff right now out of these three subjects two subjects are gonna be repeated in phase two which is your esi and ard paper two alag se hoga iska right so the paper will be of esi plus ard together and then we talk about paper one which is general english this is the entire pattern of the examination so after knowing this this you all know right but what i want to tell you there are four pillars of the phase two preparation now you must know this one thing that there is no separate preparation for phase one and phase two because of the simple reason this same subjects are being repeated in phase two as phase one with the same syllabus. So the pillars of phase two preparation actually are also a pillar of your phase one preparation, right? So what is the phase two preparation pillar? Very first is ARD static. You cannot ignore it you have ARD background, you have agri background, you do not have agri background, you have never studied agriculture makes no difference. It is the pillar, you have to study it. Huh, that is another story that you do not have to go in a lot of depth, you do not have to cover full syllabus end to end. That is another story that I'll tell you again. Okay? As of now, ARD static you have to cover, then ESI static. ESI static is quite relevant in phase two, the weightage is less in phase one, but it will obviously not harm you in phase one also. It will somewhere get you extra marks then current affairs very very important i would say a pillar of your preparation of esi ard as well as general awareness which is there in phase one and then descriptive english this is only about phase two right that these are the pillars now when we talk about phase one as i promised you that same things will be repeated so the pillars will be same so ard is gonna be repeated here also a esi static will be repeated here also current affairs will be repeated here also so apart from descriptive english here we'll get the uh sections like quant reasoning english any of those sections so those will be more important and not descriptive English. So this is what you need to know very first thing. Second is in this preparation, you need to have best friends. What are those best friends or whom are the, who are those best friends? So those are actually the syllabus and previous year paper. If you are reading ARD static, someone has referred you notes, you have opened any book and it is not in sync with the syllabus. If you cannot find the syllabus topics there, that means you're missing out very first thing second if that notes those con uh, the content that you have does not cater to the previous year papers that means the previous year questions are not being answered from there that means there is some flaw so your guiding light your best friends would be syllabus and previous year papers of course your mentors will also be there but personally what is available with you every time is syllabus and previous year paper this you have to have in your mind and hand i would say paste it somewhere right now what you need to do through all this scan that I have given you, what are we supposed to do, right? You must be thinking, ma'am, abhi karna kya hai? So guys, very first thing in the preparation, whenever anyone starts, if someone starts the preparation eight months earlier, six months earlier, or when the notification has uh, just been released and you have started the preparation, one thing remains common, that is ARD. You have to start your preparation from the ARD static part. 
why for a simple reason it is one of the pillars of the examination you cannot leave and go for a second i can say that okay if you have very less time do not go for esi static cover esi current affairs really well and you can go but for ard i can never say that so ard static you have to do the only difference will be that ard static you have to cover some important chapters now i expect you to find out till uh, now you are watching this video you have find out found out those chapters if you haven't find out the chapters uh, ard syllabus decoding esi syllabus decoding has been done in vi different videos short videos on our channel please please find it out it will be really helpful to you i cannot repeat that again okay so ard static that is your homework if you don't know you have to find out if you can recall to very good थोड़ा सा ट्राई टू रिकॉल वॉट आर दैप्ट वॉट आर द चैप्टर्स सो यू विल कवर ओनली दोज चैप्टर्स एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई हैव टोल्ड यू वेन द एग्जाम इज वेरी नियर वेन दिस इज डन यू हैव टू कवर सिमिलरली देर आर फ्यू चैप्टर्स ऑफ ई एस आई दैट यू हैव टू कवर लाइक ए आर डी हैज सेवन टू एट चैप्टर्स ई एस आई हैज ओनली फोर चैप्टर्स और फोर टू फाइव चैप्टर्स यू हैव टू कवर दोज दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप यू हैव टू टेक इफ यू आर अ बिगिनर और अ प्रो यू कैन नॉट से आई एल मिस इट राइट सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप आफ्टर यू हैव डन इट गो टू द ई एस आई एंड ए आर डी करंट अफेयर्स पार्ट बिकॉज दिस इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पिलर इन फेज वन अगेन वॉट एवर यू रीड इन ई एस आई एंड ए आर डी इट इज गॉन अव यूजफुल इन फेज टू ऑल्सो सो यू can keep in mind phase one only and prepare okay the timeline i'll tell you aage jaake in my next slide where i have detailed all the slides right one more thing you will do is ga okay we'll talk about it in detail when when you are doing current affairs at this point of time you may skip everything and just focus on static try to wind it up when you move on to current affairs make sure you club the practice of quant reasoning english with it why because you cannot ignore it there are people who have missed out on the sectional cut off also so do not do that if you feel that you are already good in quant reasoning solve the previous year papers use your best friends so solve the previous year papers see if you are able to answer them if yes then at this point of time you can start a decision making in computer because you are already good in it on the other hand if you feel that no you are not good in it do this then your next step will be when i suppose that you are left with 10 15 days before the examination decision making computer revision and mock test this is the strategy you have to follow like dedicate 15 20 days before the examination only about phase 1 like not do nothing else no descriptive writing practice no extra content just the revision of the previous things covered and current affairs and mock tests and revision is a must thing even if you take mock tests you have to do the revision this is the one thing that you have to do these are the pillars of the preparation which i have told you in a in a quite simple manner that these are the things you need to do now current affairs is actually a bit long sto a long story so i'll have to take thoda sa time here so when you cover esi current affairs ensure that you cover 6 months before the examination now the idea is for current affairs 369 Three months before the examination are the most important, so go for them. First, when done, then go to it. Next three months. After that, next three months. So this is the way you have to go for ESI current affairs. ESI current affairs here do not include schemes. I have put them separately. Okay. So government schemes again you have to do. These are for nine months. Here I think three six nine again will apply. But my suggestion is go for nine months because same schemes are usually being repeated again and again. So it will be good if you can. cover 9 months of current affairs and government schemes then is your major report so uh, major reports are actually the reports like budget survey i think i have noted down yes so here, here they are union budget eco survey scc census agri census livestock census all these are your major reports current affairs includes all these things that is why current affairs is so much important because the the wide width of current affairs is quite high that you have to cover 6 months 7 months like this and plus there are a lot of things there are budget surveys reports schemes etc in current affairs so cover these reports from the official summary or any newspaper right rankings and indices that are available or any report released 6 months before the examination again the rule is 369 my rules exception for 369 is only for government schemes where i suggest go for 9 months but for all others 369 is the rule ard current affairs again the agri current affairs uh, in our course we have provided a magazine of ard current affairs if you haven't then you can tune into the youtube lectures that we are providing on ard current affairs they are being conducted by ekta ma'am they are quite helpful 
then comes phase one general awareness so three months exact three months before the examination till one week before examination you have to cover the phase one ga 20 marks very important and phase one static ga if i talk about then this should be driven from your current affairs only so static ga is a part of current affairs only when you cover this so this is what i had to tell you about current affairs if if trust me you are able to cover these things all the current affairs that I have given here, cover, revise, practice. When I say cover, I do not mean only padke bas chale gaye. I mean you have covered it, you have revised it, you have practiced it through quizzes. So if you have covered this and if you are able to manage this, that's all about your preparation. Trust me, less is more here. Why? Because the nature of the paper is factual. You will get questions where you will have to use your brain to put in effort. Okay use that ministry important if you are like you know you say that i haven't covered ministry any time what shall i do so refer to these uh, ministries only the pdf you will be able to find on the telegram channel now coming to the non-merit section it is non-merit but with due respect it will help you to clear the examination if you get decent score here cutoff obviously will be sectional and you have to get just a uh, a decent score what to target this is very important you have to target 40 percent of the total marks let's say quant is of quant is of um 20 marks so you have to target eight marks it is the highest marks that you have to target you do not need to get more than that so your five subjects you can divide in two sets set one is qre set two is decision making and computer give priority to this because this is this can be covered easily and quickly also right this can be covered but this obviously you cannot just learn in two days you can sit and learn quant in two days it needs certain level of practice so that's why i say if you're not good in quant reasoning english you should keep on practicing from now itself and if you are okay with that go for decision making in computer you are saving your later revision time so this is the way you have to divide your preparation and these are all the things that you need to know for the examination do not remember that here also your best friends whom are those previous year papers and your syllabus so whenever you are covering if someone tells you that these are the lectures we are gonna conduct ye raha, uh, the pdf of computer always ensure that you refer to previous year papers to find out are there questions or are they taking lectures on the questions that have been pehle conducted are they somewhere near them just that is your empowering thing right so i think that's it from my end i hope you found the video useful you are no more a beginner if you feel so, if you feel confident, then you have to mention in the comment, I am not a beginner, I am a pro now. So wishing you all the very best for the examination. I'll see you soon.